this book, Pirates of the Caribbean, the Mattel Tales, the brightest star in the north, the adventures of Karina Smith. And that was just a little, little simple review of it, a little unboxing review, if I should say so. And and n and now I have read it out, and now I want to do a complete, real review of it. So if you haven't watched the Pirates of the Caribbean, Dead Man Tell Tales, or haven't read the book, the book either, actually, then you have been warned. And then maybe you should leave this video right now and come back when you have watched the movie and read this book. Alright you guys, let's get on with it. Alright you guys, the first, the first thing of the book is that it starts with, with an epilogue where Karina's father, who she doesn't know where, who is, she, he, he leaves her at an orphanage and he gives her a Galileo diary too. And yeah, so that's the epilogue. And then th this book is like parted in four different parts. It, the first part is when she's like a sh right, and second is when she's a teenager, third is when she's... Uh, a young adult and fourth is when she is traveling to Caribbean which they are on that part very much con connects to what we see in the movie. Alright you guys, so in her childhood there she has Karina has a couple of friends named James and Sarah that follows her on, on some of her adventures and yeah they go on some childhood adventure but also during that it comes some you know complications because of especially because of a diary and there will be also some stereotypical talk in, in, in this book, like like everyone, that there are many people telling her that you shouldn't do this because you're a girl or a woman, because you know parts of the Caribbean movie can take place on a time where, where women really shouldn't do like everything that they wanted, which of course is very bad. <laughs> but I love Karina, that she is a really a strong girl all from the beginning. She is a strong girl that doesn't listen to that. She really is her own person and doesn't feel any limited things about herself just because she's a girl. And I love that. So so she really is an excellent role model for any girl out there. So yeah, so 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 it, so it happens some things but she kinda even gets some things through because she gets to learn like Italian here in the beginning here with, with her childhood and then and and then at the same time in all these four parts we can also get some she can also get some clues of what the diary is about and what she is destined for to do like study the stars being an astronomer that's pretty much and she really the more she older she goes the more she feels determined to do this for her father and can I you know solve the mystery of who she is because there really also mystery about this diary and, and especially because it has a red ruby on on the top of it so that is so cool and and and, and of course we can see that diary in the movie too all right so yeah le later on when she's a teenager she gets to to work as a servant on a place i don't remember where it was but 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 there she there is kind of boring at first but and she did that, that's not what she wanted to do in life you, you know but um, but there later on she gets to meet, there she meets a older woman called Mrs. Dovenshine and she has a very touching backstory that, she, that made me cry a little bit. So she, she has a backstory that she and her, and her brother used to be astronomers and things, but she was, you know, kind of, even though they did st stuff together, they kept a little secret that she was a part of it just because she was a woman. And, that, and when he died later on, he... She didn't really want to be to care about it anymore, but and that really is a mysterious thing about her. She really she is a little bit mysterious, very sad, and not not talking to anyone else of the servants or anything. And people barely see her, so that's a very really exciting part, I think. And and but when Karina meets her and kind of see that she has an observatory, it it it's it really starts very serious conversations between them and. And they are developing a friendship, and they are studying the stars together. So that's very beautiful and touching. So that, so that's pretty much that. But and then in the third part of this book, it is pretty much that she is, that she is, that she that when Karina had become a young woman, she is, like sneaking into universities where boys goes to. She's dressed up like a boy, and then when one one day, and Miss Stumshade doesn't like that, then. 
like the first time she did that, but when the second time she did that, she really finds out very important things about the, her things with the diary and the stars and stuff like that. But the, but then Mrs. Devonshire had pretty much you know had enough and and she is too having an, enough of of the limited visions of stereotypes and what women should or shouldn't do. So Karina decides to escape and really live her life fully out. And that comes to the fourth part. As we know, she comes to the Caribbean, and that she pretty much much what happens in 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 the movie and. And she, when she meets Jack Sparrow and the and the boy Henry, who 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 also has like this, you know, father solution to fix just like her, and and they're really for this 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 they are really trying to to find the same thing. So so that's make them very sim feel sympathy for each other and really wants to help each other out. And she finally she feels she meets someone who understands her, and 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 after a lot of journey she traveling she. In, in the end of the story, finds out who she is her father, but the next second she loses him. It's very sad, very tragic. But then, then she 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 and Henry be, be, becomes a couple, and they are living happily ever after together. So that's also just a beautiful ending for for her. Alright, guys, that was my review on on this book. I really really love this book. I really love how. How they can the, you know pay pay a little more attention to one of the female characters in the Pirates of the Caribbean franchise, and how we get to to know the backstory of the of this character here that we that we didn't get to see in the movie. I think Pink Karina is an amazing character, and I absolutely love how how all these things ends up to what happens in 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 the movie, and when you. Then I think when I'm gonna we watch the movie, I think I'm gonna feel even more emotional for what she goes through than what I did first. I did feel emotional at the first time, but I think I get even more emotional when I get the backstory. So if you are a Pirates of the Caribbean fan, and if you are a Karina Smith fan, and if you wanna you know feel like you are kind of expanding your view on the pie, the Pirates franchise, and 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 we. And what should I say? Just just wanted to have more of of these amazing pirates adventures then i totally recommend this book so if you like this video don't forget to like and subscribe leave us a boss comment below bye everyone <laughs>